Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. In this video I'm going to talk about color subtraction. In my previous video I showed that white light actually uh, contains all colors. And you can see it when it goes through a prism, then you see that from the white light all these colors are inside there. So white light contains all colors. You can also see it in this picture. This is a prism with uh, white light from the sun shining on it. And you can see a rainbow here. You see that all colors are inside this white light. This video we are going the other way around. So if you go back, you have all those colors and you go back, then you will make white light. So you can make white light from all these different colors. So combining all colors makes white. From all these colors there are three colors which are the most important, the primary colors. They are red, green and blue. Green is often mistaken by yellow, but green is a primary color. Yellow is a primary color when we are looking at ink and at when painting, but with light, red, green and blue are the primary colors. And with these three colors you can make all colors uh, of the rainbow. If you start combining them, then secondary colors of light will appear. So you can make yellow, you can make magenta, and you make, can make cyan from these three colors. And it looks like this. So if you have red here, and you have green here, and you will combine them, then you will actually make yellow. If you have red, and you have blue, and you combine them, then you will make magenta. And if you have blue and green, then you will make cyan. Your computer screen is using those three primary colors. As you look at your phone or on your computer, you can see that the screen can make millions of different colors, but actually they only have three colors inside of them. Here, this is a photo of one of my computer screen. You can see in the middle it's white, but if you zoom in, then you can see that there are actually only three colors. You can see red, you can see green, and you can see blue. So every pixel only has three lights. Uh, sometimes there's an extra light, but my computer only has those three lights. And there are enough to make millions and millions of colors. Because if you zoom out, then it looks like white. Here, this one looks like yellow. But if you zoom in, then you will see that it's actually red and green. So your computer screen only has three colors, sometimes one more. But usually most of them have, have three colors. Here, magenta. But if you zoom in, it's only red and blue, and together we will see it as magenta. So you have here the three primary colors, then you can make three uh, secondary colors, and of course there's more and more colors. You can also combine uh, this one with red again, and of course in the middle it's white, and if you shut them all down, all the lights go out, then it's black. So that's how you make the black light, which actually is not a light, which is the absence of light. So to summarize, if you want to make yellow, you need red and green, as you can see here. If you want to make magenta, then you need red and blue, as you can see here. And if you need, uh, want to make cyan, then you need blue and green. And finally, if you do them all together, then you will get white. Now, how does it work when you look at surfaces? We have a blue surface here, we have a white light containing all the colors, then the blue surface only reflects blue. So the blue surface absorbs all colors but blue. Blue light is reflected and that's why you can see it as blue. When we have a cyan surface and we have white light, then all colors hit the cyan surface. And as you can see, multiple colors are reflected. Not only cyan is reflected, but also blue and green, as they are the two primary colors of cyan. So cyan surface reflects its own color, but also blue and green, as they are the primary colors of that cyan. Another example, if we have a green surface and we have green light, then we know that the green light will be reflected by the green surface and that we can see it as green. So a green surface reflects green light. Now if you have purely yellow light, so not a combination of red and green, but purely yellow light, then the green surface cannot reflect it, because green is a primary color, it can reflect only green light, not yellow light, and so you will not see it. So green uh, surface only reflects green, so the yellow, you will not see uh, the green surface, it will uh, be black or grayish, but the yellow light cannot be reflected by the green surface. But we can make a different kind of yellow. If we make yellow light from green and red, so these combined also form yellow light, then we will see it as yellow, it actually isn't yellow, but we will see it as yellow, so then the yellow light will hit the green surface, and then the green part of that light will be reflected. It cannot reflect the red part, only the green part, so then we will see the green surface as green. The same for yellow surface. Yellow surface, if we shine yellow light on it, so pure yellow, then of course it can be reflected and we will see it as yellow, because yellow surface can reflect yellow light. If we have the yellow light which is green and red and we also put it on the yellow surface, then we will see that it will also reflect those two. Because the yellow surface is a secondary color, so it can not only reflect its own color, but also the red and green. So if this one would be purely red or purely green, it will also reflect that, as it is a, uh, the primary, or as those are the primary colors of yellow. And you can see that here we have the green light, and yellow can reflect the green light because green light is a primary color of yellow. 
So again, yellow surfaces reflect red, green and yellow, the two primary colors and its own color. Now a few pictures I made. We have a Coca-Cola can here, which is red, and of course with the white letters and it's standing on a white box. And here it's white light, so we can see all the colors as they are. That's why we like white light, just from the sun, like from the sun, because then we can see all colors. If we use purely red light, then it will look like this. So the red surface does reflect the red light because it's red, and also the white surface reflects the red light. It would reflect everything, but as it only gets red, it can only reflect uh, the red light. So then you will see, uh, well, you will not see the letters anymore because they reflect the same light as the can itself. Now we use green light. Well, if we use green light, then as you can see, the white parts can reflect the green light, light because white reflects everything. But the red part does not reflect green. Red can only reflect its own color uh, and it doesn't get the red color, so it doesn't uh, reflect anything. And that's why it look, looks really black. As you can see here, behind it's black and also the can looks really black now. And the same with blue light. If we have blue light on the can, then you can see uh, that the can, again, it's the same color as in the back. The back is black, so it, it looks bluish, but actually it's just black. It's just my camera making it a little bit bluish. The color here of the white letters is blue, the box is blue, but the red, we cannot see it because the red surface doesn't, uh, does not get red light, so it cannot show to you that it's red, so it doesn't reflect anything. Now we go to a mix of colors. So now we again have the same can, but now we have red, green and blue light. And together they are seen as white, so we can see the can with just all the colors it has. If you only have yellow, so red plus green, then it looks like this. So the box, which was white, and the letters, which were white, they can reflect the yellow, which is now green and red. This was a special yellow light. But the can cannot reflect the green, it does reflect the red. So you can see the can as red. The same will happen when we have magenta light. We have red and blue light, so it will reflect the red light. It does not reflect the blue light. And as you can see, the white surfaces, they do reflect both. So then you will see it as magenta. And finally, if we have blue and green, so cyan, then it will look like this. The can is black again because there's no red to reflect. The white surfaces can reflect them, so that's why you see it. But the red uh, cannot reflect it, so that's why you see it as black. Now I will show you the difference between pure yellow light and yellow light when it's red and green. So if we have yellow light, which actually contains red and green light, then the can will look like this, like I showed previously. But if we have another yellow light, which is purely yellow, so there are no red and green lights in it, only yellow, then it will look like this. And as you can see, the can now cannot show that it's red because it doesn't get red light, it only gets yellow. Uh, so, as you can see, it, it's, it's now gray, yellowish, uh, but it cannot show it's red, so you don't see what the correct color is. Now, two strange things. First, the magenta surface. If you have magenta and we have white light, then all the colors hit the surface and only blue and red are reflected. Magenta is not reflected. This is a little bit weird, and that's the only one of the uh, three secondary colors. Uh, it doesn't exist. The light magenta, the pure light magenta, does not exist. You can see it in the rainbow. We have red as a primary color. We have pure yellow as a secondary color. We have green as a primary color. We have cyan as a secondary color. And we have blue as a primary color. But there's no magenta. The magenta, you would see that it's somewhere in between red and blue. But as you can see, there is none. So a magenta surface, it will reflect blue and red and together we will see it as magenta but pure magenta light does not exist and another interesting thing if we have a perfect mirror and we have all light hitting the mirror then all the light will be reflected so then the question is is what color is a mirror and that depends of course on the light source so if there's a different color of light then the mirror will have a different color but it's only when you have a perfect mirror so perfect mirrors reflect all colors but Normal mirrors are not perfect. So if you have a normal mirror, which you will find in your bathroom, uh, which you will find in the, in the toilets, uh, if you go to different places, the normal mirror does not reflect normal light that well. As you will see here, then all the lights hit the mirror and you can see that it's slowly changing. The color is slowly changing. The more it's reflected, the more it changes and it becomes a little bit green. So normal mirrors reflect all colors but they reflect green a little better. Normally you don't see it. If you look into the mirror, you don't see yourself as green, but you can see this effect when you are in a tunnel of mirrors, and it looks like this. So if you have two mirrors opposite of each other, and you look into it, and then there, a tunnel appears. And as you can see in the tunnel, the further you go, the greener it gets, because the further you go, the more the light has been reflected by the two mirrors, and the greener it gets. So actually, this mirror is a little bit green. 
Here again, you see that somebody's taking a photograph of a tunnel, of a tunnel of mirrors, and you can see it gets green again in the middle. And here also in the elevator, you can see that it becomes green. So perfect mirrors uh, don't exist. Um, and in normal mirrors, they are always a little bit green. That's it. I hope you now know what color subtraction is. And as you see, it's not that easy. It's a pretty difficult subject. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, let me know by liking and of course, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.